What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Shouts out to Ed Kwame Brown Bus Life. Shouts out to Self Talk. And let's get into this. Because this was crazy. Um, I don't understand why people need to be disrespectful to try to get hits and views. Like, when has that become the norm? Like, when has that become the way? Like, man, we need to do, you know what we need to do? We need to be real disrespectful. Oh, that's going to do it for us. Really? That's so retarded. It's extremely retarded. To have that type of mindset. The ignorant you are, the more better that is for you. That's weird to me. And they have all Kwame's videos now. It's age restricted. All of them. I said, man, if they age restricted him, what the hell are they going to do to me? So yesterday, YouTube was contacted by myself and these people who supposedly are working to help you to see if they're really going to help you. It seems to be that these people are not out to help you, but out to keep you basically subservient to their wills, their plans. Well, that's when you have to navigate differently. They're coming with every little thing they can, all because of you. What do, what you do is you got to look at the video before it. You say, "Well, before I had this problem." What was the last video I put out? Then you go see the video and go, oh, okay. First, it was Matt Barnes. Then, it was Charlemagne. Once that Charlemagne video dropped, then all of a sudden, here come problems. So it seems to be the same people that Matt Barnes know, as Charlemagne know, this seems to be a problem. I don't really have this many problems on Jack videos. Jack ain't smart enough. Matt probably told him what to do. Like, oh, you got to send in a complaint. You got to say this video is hateful. And then they just do it because of us. They just don't even ask questions. They just do it. And go right into a sabotage attack. But notice, they let all of these crazy people on here talk about hate, kill all day long. Disrespectfully, and these dudes are not flagged. You got people, rappers or wannabe rappers or whatever, or just people who are supposed to be on social media trying to build themselves up by disrespecting people who are not here anymore. Like, that's the norm. Really? I mean, you wouldn't even think about doing stuff like that in our day unless you really wanted a problem. Which brings us to this situation that happened the other day. Kwame was nice enough to bring this person on his platform. And it didn't make any sense to me why this guy was even there. But he was nice enough to bring him back. He knew this guy. This guy, what's his name? Low Life. This Low Life guy on the show, knowing what he was. But, you know, he's a people person. You know, he, we the people. 
and let this guy have another opportunity instead of saying, hey, you know, I'm on here with Kwame. Let me make the best of it and show the best of myself. This is all he could come up with. Man, man, why is you in the chat, boy? What the, what the hell is wrong? All right. For educational purposes, I'm going to show y'all the difference between a man that I talked to last night to the little ass boy right here that I'm probably going to have to kick out of the chat. I've been waiting for you all day. Oh, uh, no, you started off scaring the shit out of me. What the fuck is wrong with you? You've been waiting on a man all day. Kick his dumb ass out right away. I've been waiting for you all day. Bitch, you ain't even say good good afternoon, motherfucker. You can tell you ain't no man. Hey, how you doing, sir? You get up here running your bitch ass mouth soon as you get up here. Damn, this boy effeminate than a motherfucker. Let me get some more water. Cause his thirsty ass telling another man, I've been waiting on you all day. Bitch, you sound like... Fuck you waiting on me all day for... Did I ask you to wait on me all day? You mean to tell me you ain't wash your ass, brush your teeth, eat nothing, wash your face? You just been waiting on me all day. Goddamn. Beta! Disrespectful motherfuckers. They didn't think they smart. Cause they hear a couple of people say, respectfully, respectfully, copy in the best version of the nigga he like. Respectfully, respectfully. Shut your bitch ass up. If you were respectfully, you would have came in and say, good afternoon, how are you? And we have a conversation with your bitch ass talking soon. You get, I've been waiting on you all day. Since you so thirsty, let me take my time and drink some water, bitch. I'm a coward, but you don't put your face up on there. Now, you ready to act like a man, boy? And I do mean act. Kwame Brown. My Why you keep saying my name, brother? Uh, you know my name already. Your name is on the screen. My name is on the screen. Can you can you act like a man for at least half a second? You gonna cut me off again? Without all this effeminate trying to show off, moving around, licking your lips. You're not that, you're not a hell of a nigga. So just talk to me like a man, Kwame, bro. Kwame, you got me fucked up. My name ain't Kwame. I'm Why you keep calling here if I got you fucked up? Kwame, you're the only one acting like you got to My name ain't Kwame, and my name is on the screen, sir. If you respectfully just get to what you called for, sir. So I called to ask you why you a professional, uh, why you a professional victim? None you of your business. You and Sean Campbell, the same person, came on YouTube playing the victim role. Can I Do I look like a victim to you? Do I look like a victim to you? I'm going to be honest with you, Kwame. Uh, your mother is rolling in the grave, man. She wouldn't be proud of this. She wouldn't be proud of this, man. You need, you need, you need to stop reporting my videos. I'm reporting your video. Why would I report your video? Hey, sir, I'm going to warn you to be careful. I, I'm going to warn you. You need to be careful how you talking, sir. I'm, I'm not the only person that you're going to offend. I'm just saying, sir. I'm not the only. Before you start getting effeminate and getting loud, I am not the only person that you could potentially offend. So I'm going to give you some good advice. I know you want to be showboating, but I'm telling you, there's certain levels that you should not cross, sir. And so now that you came up here and disrespected me, well, I'm going to bid you a good day, up. pussy. Mama's cooking, bitch. You see, idiots like this, this low life guy, who comes in here and and uses an opportunity to make a fool of himself just for hits and views. Damn. He has nothing to add to the world but that. <sighs> I guess this is what it this is what it comes to, you know. You had an opportunity to make something happen for yourself that would have been positive. Do you have anything to share? Who made trolling cool? Like, I, I never understood that. To just call somebody and just literally lie on them. Literally lie on them. Call them up. 
just to lie. It's crazy. Now, I've seen these trolls on my page. They come in there and just like re religiously just would say random crazy things. Like, I don't even get it. Like, normally I block, just ignore it, keep moving. I don't know why people are so gravitated to trolls. It is the stupidest thing in the world. Mostly little kids do that. They love trolling. We don't troll or spam. Spamming will get you banned in most places because it's annoying as hell. Nobody cares for it. It doesn't add any value to anything. Like people think, oh, you got a troll on your page. It don't really help my page to have a troll on it. it doesn't hurt help Kwame's page to have this troll on there. Yeah, he couldn't even hold a, a conversation. He had no reason of even calling. He just wanted to be on screen. This low life guy is just one of many who adds no value to anything. But he's getting fame. People are checking him out for his stupidity. And when you languish in that, this is the results. You mentioned this man's mother. To see, to tell another man without being in his face that his mother must be rolling around in a grave. And you don't even know that man? Just shows the level of ignorance that's in your brain. Because you think you could do that because you're safe wherever you are and they way somewhere else. You would not have that energy to say that to that man's face. And if you don't have the energy to say that to that man's face, you shouldn't say it from far away. Because what he was trying to express to your dumb self is that He's not the only person that his mother had a child. You insult his brothers. You insult other family members who might take that to offense. He's got cousins. He's got uncles. You never know how someone else is going to be offended. So low life guy, I don't know who you are, but or what? Well, I know what you're doing. You're just trolling, and this is your moment. You want to be an idiot for the public? Congratulations, you just did that. So forget low life guy. Subscribe to uh, Kwame Brown Bus Life, Carcino for Life, and at Self Talk on YouTube. Definitely do that. Hit the notification button. And definitely hit the send feedback button. Ask them why is this video age restricted when it comes to Kwame Brown's videos. Ask them why is he age restricted. Why are you restricting his videos? Say, I want to see this video, but it's age restricted and I'm of age. There's people that's 24 years old can't see Kwame videos. Why is that? See, what they want to do is try to make it look like it's progressionally happening. They're going to try to lure him month by month by month, block by block to say, well, 
you know, each month, you know, you just started to, guys were dropping off. No, they're not dropping off. People are not dropping off. They're being pushed off. So there's a problem somewhere. And we need to fix it. Well, they need to fix it. Anyway, I'm gone. Good night.